So for today's tarot hack, we're going to be talking about the five numerology and going into that and talking about the major arcana, the Aerophant. Um, the Aerophant card is, of course, of the five numerology and it connects to the five of swords, five of wands, five of cups, and five of coins. And in the five numerology, after just having done this recap before about how you know, in the one through four, we, we kind of start the journey, we sort of find our original material, we couple up with someone or with a different uh, external force. Um, we then sort of have our imperfect beginning of the journey and we begin to get used to things. Um, we begin to find structure in the four. Once we hit five, this is where things are shaken up. This is usually where there's an external dissonance of some kind, some sort of difficulty that arrives in the path. Now, the problem with this is that if we look at the five numerology as problematic, then it starts to skew our mindset about what's being read here as basically something bad is going to happen. Something bad's going to happen in the swords, it's something bad's gonna happen in the coins uh, with our financial life. Um, it basically, it, it can feel as though it's foreshadowing something negative, but the reality is once we get to the six numerology, you'll see that what happened in the five was incredibly necessary. And so that's the part that sometimes gets miss, uh, missed with the five numerology, as well as the rest of the odds, really. With the three, the five, the seven, these three tend to be viewed or characterized as negative events, when in reality, there um, are times in which something is usually cut away in order to make uh, room for for something better. So just like with the three being our imperfect beginning, you know, this imperfect beginning was necessarily imperfect so that we could actually develop structure because structure can't just fall out of the sky. It can't, it can't just happen immediately. So when we get to the five numerology here and we talk about the elephant, and we're gonna do a few videos on this, the elephant is about being able to be charitable to other people, being able to be a pillar for other people. And of course, that is the mastered five, right? Because in five, we experience something difficult happening. And to be able to be strong during that time or to be able to give that strength to other people or to you know, sort of shield them from the storm, that's our ultimate mastered self. So with the five of the minor arcana, we're gonna be going into that next and we're gonna be talking about how Oftentimes, these are moments that are looked at as, you know, you're, you know, five of coins, classically, you're going to go through financial hardship. It's not actually what it's recommending. What it's, what it's explaining in the tarot card is that you are going to experience a deficit from what you originally projected was going to happen. Now, what you do with that, uh, once you realize the projection was just an illusion, will lead you into the six of coins.